Gamification, the use of game mechanics for non-game purposes, is all around us. It's in our smartwatches telling us to burn more calories to win an award. It's in our schools rewarding and punishing children for their behaviour with points and prizes. And it's in our workplaces turning driving for Uber, packing boxes for Amazon, or answering customer service calls into a never-ending competition full of levels, rankings, and quests. In today's gamification, you're no longer the player. You are being played. The term gamification has only been around for a little over a decade. So why is it grown so quickly? How does it work? And where might it go next? Part of the answer lies in the incredible pace of smartphone and internet technologies. Part of it lies in how video games have become the 21st century's most dominant form of entertainment and culture. And finally, it lies in how reward and punishment have become central to how our governments, our economies, and our schools currently work. We can design better forms of gamification that allow everyone to flourish as individuals, but only if we understand what it does and how it works.